Just kidding, there are no commercial breaks here. We're gonna go straight into our second contestant. And if you could please give us your in-game name and what got you into playing Epic Seven. Hi, so my in-game name is Level 99 Fishing. That's a RuneScape reference for those of you who get it. Um, I got into the game because they were giving out two five-star selectors and it was a really good time to reel for Tamarind and Asteria. So that's how I got into the game. Um, I heard there was a really great PvP scene and the animations are to die for. So it get me hooked. Two five-star? Two? Oh my goodness, how long ago was that? I want to say like three and a half years ago. I'm not sure, but well, before my time. <laughs> well, I hope those three and a half years mm. is going to help you here because we're going to move right into the first question. What element is Ross, the main protagonist from episodes one through three? A. Ice. B. Earth. C. Fire. Or D. Light. C. Fire. Final answer. You're locking it in? I'm locking it in. You sure? Yes. C, fire is the correct answer. Okay. So you've been playing the game for a long time now, and who is your favorite unit and why? My favorite unit is Judge Kise. She was my first ML5 that I got in a free summon event. You know those 10 free daily covenant summons? And I really like her because she was the goddess of cleave back in the day mm -hmm. with Alots and Sidon. Nowadays, not so much, but I've been trying to use her with Commander Pavel. Oh, Commander mm -hmm. Pavel, mm -hmm. also a great <laughs> unit, but oh man, Judge Kise, huh? Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> Moving on. What in-game currency can be used in order to purchase bookmarks? A, gold. B. Leaves. C. Skystones. Or D. Powder of Knowledge. I'm going to go with C. Skystones. Final answer. Final answer, C. Final answer. C is the correct answer. Yes. And cool. I mean, I've been spending a lot of bookmarks lately with our collabs and the new units. And, oh, you know, I. I hope some of you guys out there have better luck than I do. <laughs> okay, good luck. So, do you have any hobbies outside of playing the game? I do, I play a lot of games with my friends. So things like League, TFT, Valorant, anime as well. Coincidentally, favorite anime is Full Metal Alchemist. So this collab has been amazing mm -hmm. and I love it. Did you triple S any units? I triple S that one. Or Edward, sorry. Edward, <clears throat> Edward, Edward. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Edward, Edward. I see. Wow. Who, who's your favorite character from the anime? From the anime? Yeah. I would have to say Roy, but I didn't I didn't triple S Roy because he wasn't meta. <gasps> I'm just a meta slave, yeah. Oh, a meta slave, okay. Yeah. So for question mm -hmm. number three, what is the name of Stray's sword? A, Sword of Summer Twilight. B, Azera, C, Fastest, D, Sword of Winter. Can I please use my 50-50? Wanna use your 50-50? We will be taking out B, Azera, and D, Sword of Winter. So you are left with A, Sword of Summer Twilight, or C, Fastest. I'm gonna go with C, Fastest, final answer. Are you sure? Not really. Is that the answer you're locking in? But that in? is the answer I'm that locking in. That is the answer in. you're locking in. C, fastest, is the correct answer. <laughs> sword of Summer Twilight is Vildred's sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you as well have been a veteran player, three and a half years just about. How do you think the game has evolved over the years? Um, I think the game got a lot of quality of life changes, and that's for the best, honestly, because it is a grindy game. Um, it's really important for new players to be able to catch up in the endgame content for everybody so that you could keep bringing in new players. So I really like that they're accelerating Molagora's gear progression. Oh, they're giving you like hunt units too for free. It's all really good. It's good to see. I hope it grows the player base and the community. 
Yeah, I remember I started after the pet snacks. I, I know a lot of people <laughs> said those are some dark, dark times, but you know, a lot of quality of life changes and hopefully more to come. But moving on to question number four. Okay, things are wrapping it up a little bit. Who won the 2022 E7WC? A. Yundon. B. Jinte. C. DYR. D. Phantom. I wish it were my boy Jinte, but it is D. Phantom. Final answer. You're locking it in. I'm locking that in. Not Jinte. Not. <laughs> No, no Jente, I'm so sorry, Jente. I was rooting for you. D Phantom is the correct answer. I know a lot of people were rooting for Jente, you know? Mm -hmm. We also talked about it on our previous stream. Just say it. Um, but would you say you prefer being a PvE player or a PvP player and why? I'm definitely a PvP player, even though I don't play RTA too much. I've ranked anxiety, but I'll play it until I get the skin, mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely do prefer PvP to PvE because I don't enjoy this. Uh, it's it's really painful. I actually have only played up to episode two, um, but I really like hunts and PvP. Did you at least do unrecorded history? I did. I did. Okay. Okay. I, I would hope. <laughs> episode three is pretty good. Did yeah. No. I I read all the episodes studying for this. The story is really good. You guys should not skip it. Go back. Mm -hmm. So for question number five, which mage exclusive artifact has a 24% chance to stun an enemy at max level? A, Time Matter. B, Etika Scepter. C, Magic for Friends. Or D, Abyssal Crown. D, Abyssal Crown, final answer. Final answer. You sure you don't want to take that back? That's yes. What you're going for? I'm a PvP player. A PvP player, and he is. D is the correct answer. Oh, man, there's there's too there there might be too many <laughs> PvP questions in here. You know, maybe, maybe we gotta spice it up a little bit. But you know, knowing that the community right now they they are currently watching you play. H how are you feeling? I got a haircut because of this, because I was worried what people, <laughs> I wanted to look presentable, you know? Mm. You know, so I'm wearing a button-up shirt. Um, yeah, a little nervous, but happy to be here. Dress to impress. Okay, guys. So question six. Okay, you're, you're almost there. You are so close to being Arky's Millionaire. You still have your two, uh, you still have your two lifelines, okay? For question six, what is the sign of the unit Mui? A. Virgo B. Pisces C. Aries or D. Scorpio I'd like to use my phone a friend, please. You'd like to use his phone a friend right <laughs> away! Yes, okay. And who will you be phoning in today? I'm going to be phoning my guild mate camping. He is the lore master. I don't know if he'll know the signs, but he's you know, maybe, shot. maybe, you know, if Mui is his favorite unit, maybe. I specifically didn't study this because there are so many characters. Hey, camping, it's me, Jesse. What's up, Jesse? <laughs> I'm calling you because I need your help. Okay. Okay, so the question is, do you want to read it all? Okay. What is the sign of the unit Mui? A, Virgo. B, Pisces. C, Aries. Or D, Scorpio. Can you read it one more time? Sorry. What is the sign of the unit Mui? A, Virgo, B, Pisces, C, Aries, or D, Scorpio? I think she's a Virgo. 
Do you I think? Do you know the stat spreads of these? Because don't they have different ones for different? Because I know she's a warrior, right? Yeah, she's a warrior. Okay, and is that what? Which one did you think it was? I th think it's a Virgo. Okay, uh, a Virgo. I'm not hundred percent though. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna lock in right. Virgo then. Thank you so much. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> he says he's gonna trust his guildmate. He's gonna go with A. Are you sure? Not at all, but I don't know any better. So You're I'm gonna trust in him. A, Virgo, is the correct answer! Oh my god! Wow! Lore Master Camping. Let's Lore go. Mas Lore Master Camping coming in in clutch <laughs> for Jesse! Shout out to Camping. He is almost there! Oh my goodness! Well, right before we get into the seventh question. Do you think you have what it takes to be an Archie millionaire? After studying for a while, absolutely not. There's so much information that I tried to take in the last week, but fingers crossed, I'll do my best. Okay. Question number, number seven. For all the marbles, for that, that, that beautiful, soft, Arky plushie, okay? What is the percentage of receiving a higher generation pet when you synthesize two four-star pets to make a five-star one before adding additional pets? A, 10%, B, 15%, C, 20%, or D, 25%. So that was a four star pet with two four stars in the synthesize? To become a five star. To possibly become a five star. My pet's four star. Um, so it's only two of them. So when you're synthesizing them, yeah. it comes as a percentage, you know, mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So what is that percentage? I'm gonna go with B, 15%. Actually, maybe it's base 10% you add to and it's 5% each. I'm gonna go with C, 20%. Final answer. C, 20%. Oh wait, yeah, C, 20%. Final answer. You're locking that in. I'm going to lock that in. You sure? You, I'll, I'll give you a chance to back out if you want. Are you, are you gonna I, go with This me? is, I, I have to. You, you have, you, this is it? This is it, this is it. This is it, he has locked in. C, 20%. And C, is the correct answer! We, <laughs> we have our first Arky Millionaire. I, even I'm a little shocked right now. I thought, I was trying, I was honestly guys, I was trying my best to make these hard questions really hard. That and was really hard. That was just deductive reasoning I did. I was hoping they added 5% instead of 2.5% per I, pet. I didn't know that having the pets is what gives it an extra percent. But yeah, well, how do you feel be, being the first <laughs> Arky millionaire? Shocked. I feel like there are three questions I didn't know, but. I mean, three, oh, two lifelines yeah, and then two a, life you know, you, a good yes. deductive reasoning. Mm -hmm. It feels amazing. I am so happy to have been here and gone through this. It's such a cool concept of the show. And I'm honestly surprised I got this far, but I'm glad I trusted in my instincts on that last question. Yeah. Um, don't go back. Your, your gut <laughs> instinct, okay? Sometimes usually the right one. Okay, well, that's all we have for today's episode of RT Millionaire, but we'll make sure to see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.